All right, golf's back in England. Have you managed to play? Let me know how you got on, if you managed to get out. In today's video, I'm playing a simulator game. Stole the best track man again. Stole the simulator, stole his garage, stole everything. Couple of things with it. It does auto put. So it kind of works out how far away you are, your average puts, and then gives you that, which gives you a reward for it close. Those are dog barking. Dogs. So it gives you a reward for hitting it close, but it punishes you for being miles away because it can give you a three putt. And also chipping's really hard. Loads of slopes on the green, so big pressure on actually hitting the greens. Good to just get in that sort of scoring mode like you would do on the golf course, which is why I'm doing it really. Okay, front nine at Lostwood Glen, which is a fictional course made up by Trackman. It's got waterfalls and everything in the background. Front nine, nine holes, we're looking for I want to be level par. If you miss a green, by the way, the chip in is well hard, so the pressure's on really to hit the greens. First hole, a straightforward one. 111 yards, wind's four mile an hour. Oh no, eight mile an hour out the left. I don't know what eight mile an hour feels like. I need someone to blow on me, so I know. 115 shot, that's like 95% with a 54. Leave it, wind. Leave it win. Oh, hit it win. Sit. Oh, yes. Yes. That best give me a one putt to start. Three foot away to start. Best give me a one putt. Yes. What a start that is. One under through one. Brilliant this. So good. It proper makes you think like you're on the golf course because pin positions and everything, they're all like, some of them are tucked and you don't want to miss the green because chipping's like brutal. So, Sometimes you're not aiming exactly at the pin, you're aiming for like a fat part of the green. It makes you go through the processes exactly as you would on the golf course. And to be honest with you, if I wasn't on camera here, there's no like real consequence. So actually filming this, knowing it's going out, puts me under the pressure and I feel the same way that I would do if I was actually trying to score out on the golf course. So very, very good this. How do you make that? How do you make a track man to do that? 131 into out the left again, five mile an hour. Got to be a 135 shot. That pin's took close to that trap. Got one, about 125 to cover that trap slightly into. I think a 50 would spin up too much, so I think it's, I think it's wedge. Like a 135 shot, so full wedge is 150. Start to at the pin and let the wind just drift it in. It's going to finish hopefully about 10 foot right there. Leave it win, leave it win, leave it win. Go, go! Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Hope that's on the green. Oh, it's on the green, 29 feet away. Give me a two putt, give me a two putt, two putt par, okay. Spun up a bit that, that shot spun up more than I thought. Basically, if you miss the green, you chip in. <laughs> I don't want to chip. Okay, 129. Straight into, eight mile an hour straight into with water short. Wow. I want to hit this 135. I don't want to be playing it to the exact yardage because there's water short. If it spins back, it's in there. So we're going to go just a bit past this pin. Five mile an hour into wind, 129 yards. I want to hit it 135, but I'm going to hit I'm going to hit a 140 yard shot with a 99. Good process that. Work out the yardage you actually want to play the shot rather than going off 150 pin. I'll hit that shot. Pick how far you want to hit it. Sometimes not always a pin. Pick the point on the green you want to hit it to. Work out what that yardage is. Work out the wind how much that's going to affect it. Whether it's going to add yards or take it off. And then the number in your head, that's what you're playing. The actual number of the pin sometimes is irrelevant. Oh, that's left. Pulled it. Pulled it. Pulled it. Pulled it! No. No. Pulled it. Went long as well. Obviously with the pull it goes long. This is where it gets tricky. That's why you don't want to miss a green. Where the perception gets difficult, you know, it's knowing where to land it. So 19 yards, it's a fair way, so it gives me 100% power. Kind of works out if you're in the rough, it'll tell you you've only got like 80% power or whatever it is. 
19 yards. Let's have a look at the green. Oh, it's kind of downhill once it gets to the hole out the left. I'm going to land it just on, so I want to land it about 10 yards. Sit, 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 It's a good chip that. It's a good chip, what? Give me, give me seven foot ten. Give me a one put, give me a one put, give me a one put, give me a one put. Yes! Up and down. Seven foot ten. You never know. You never know what it's gonna give you. Fuming with trap when it gives you a three put. Okay, 173. Wind down out the right, eight mile an hour. So where is that pin? Oh, what a green that is. Just a nice eight iron. Just a nice eight iron. So just right the pin, let the wind move it back into that fat part of the green. Hold it again, get a bit. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit now, sit now. Ah, yardage is good. 45 foot away. Two putt par, okay. Always fear the three putt. They're not quite good at putting, it doesn't take that into account, does it? Right, well, one under three, four, that's a very good start, but let's not think of the score. Process. This is what you gotta do on the course. It's what sort of practice this is. All about the process, this. 192. Wow. Left side, so we've got loads of room right at that pin. So at the back as well, so we want to go long. So we want to play this about 185. Wind slightly out the right. You're sorry, it's straight out the right. Seven mile an hour. Perfect six sign this. To tie it into, so this won't go long. We've got loads of room at the front of the green. That pin's right at the back, so it's gusting that wind. Eight mile an hour, nine mile an hour. Start at right edge of the green, just let the wind do it. Oh, I fatted it, I fatted it. Completely fatted it, that is ridiculous. Completely fatted it, go! Oh, wow. That comes with not playing. Through my head then, I was thinking, as I was stood over it, I'm thinking, I could actually cut up a little five iron here. So that's good, and a good commitment to it in the six iron that I had in my hand. That comes to not playing, it's great, the practice and everything. This is why playing is so important. Uh, and even when you're practicing, practice your routines. 22 yards, it's in the rough, so it's giving me 88% 80, power, 74% spin, so it's gonna run out a bit, this. So we wanna land this, we wanna land it about 15 yards. Sit a bit, sit a bit, sit a bit, sit a bit, sit. I see. No spin. That's off the green as well. See what I mean? The chipping. That's why you can't miss a green. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, that's got to give me a bogey. Five foot nine away. I wouldn't miss that. I wouldn't miss that. I wouldn't miss that. No, I wouldn't miss that though. That's giving me two pots. Two pots for double. What? What? Straight putt, I wouldn't have missed it. But that's why you pay the price, missing the green now. Okay, come on. 90 yards, we're back in, forgetting that. That's all in the process. As soon as you're on your next shot, as soon as that shot's gone, have your little tantrum, have your little hissy fit, and then get back onto it. 90 yards to the pin. Wind into out the left. Playing 95, that's good for that pin. We'll start it just left and let the wind move it back. 54 degree wedge, 95. High five wedge, yeah, got it. Don't go right, that's right. Oh, you get a bit, get a bit. Say, oh, it's long and right. Come on then, spin back, bit of spin on that, bit of spin. How far? 28 foot 11, two putt par. Not really threatening. This is why I wanted to do this, to get me into like my processes more, but also the distance control. These are so good. 
the trackman distance control is so good to do this sort of thing and actually see the flight on the screen because hitting balls in my garage and stuff yeah i've done a bit of distance control but how accurate it is i don't really have that much space so this is so much better no wonder the biff beats me sometimes sometimes 121 front pin wind out the left hot perfect full 54 got it Come on, be good, be good, be good, be good. Spin. Good shot, good shot. Better. Carried 120, spot on. Nine foot away, give it me. Yes! That makes up for that, for that two put from six foot. Straight back at it. Mentality. Mentality. Cookie jar. Granted, if you didn't watch last week's video, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about when I'm saying cookie jar. I'll link last week's video up here so you can understand what pulling something out of the cookie jar means. I've just done it then. 188. 188 wind in out of the right. Okay, it's playing 195 that. I'm gonna hit a little cut with a five iron. Because that's gonna hold against the wind and it should carry about 185. So instead of like hitting Instead of letting the ball go on the wind, I'm going to take the yardage off it because five iron goes about 205. I'm actually going to take a bit off it by just holding it against the wind. Should carry about 182, 183. So just do it all in setup. Feet a little bit left. Club face that a little square and just make sure that I turn through it. Really feel that left hip has to pull back. Because as soon as I go this way, it's my bad move. Sometimes my hips goes forward, club stands up, and the club direction, swing direction goes right. I can't hit a fade from there. The ball starts right and it will even cut more because the club face is open at address. So, so important for me to make sure this hip moves back as opposed to forwards. Just kind of hoping the wind had died down then when I was rabbiting on, but it's not, so. Cut, cut, that's got a cut. Oh, it stayed, stayed there. Oh, it's long, it's in the crack. That felt good, that. Club path minus 4.8, face path 1.3. Should have had the cut. Path and face. Stronger wind than I thought. That's what I mean when you can't feel. I need a wind machine. How good would that be? How good would that be? That's the next thing. You need a wind machine all around and it blows the same speed as what it says on there. That would be next level, that. Maybe I'm being greedy there. What have we got? 22, 86% power, 72% pit. This looks disgusting. Oh, it's down, just downhill, down, down, downhill. Not far to the edge of the green. Land it about there. Oh, 13 yards. Oh, that's good. Sit down now, sit down, downhill. Downhill, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do there. Nothing you can do. 39 foot, 6 inch. That basket me a 2 pot. Two pot bogey here. Oh. Last hole, need a birdie for that level par. See what I mean, missing the greens. This has cost you. Right, 138. There's a bunker in the middle of the green here. 138, down at the left, seven mile an hour. Oh, that's probably only playing 130 shot, I reckon. Eight mile an hour down at the left. Full 50, I like this. I like this. Come on, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a shot to finish that is. You best give me birdie now. Four foot seven. You best give me birdie to finish that. Yes, you can't volley on it. It doesn't come back fast enough. Level par. With a double on there as well. That's pleasing. It is pleasing because it's so different like, to get used to it, but I know the chipping's hard and that. 
So I know like you put yourself under pressure missing greens you think oh, it's hard to get it up and down because it's a little bit different like the perception and stuff. So I've actually played this before and I played 18 holes on a par three course and I was 19 over the first time. First time I ever tried it so <laughs> it does take a bit to get used to it. But you feel like you get them proper feelings on the golf course you know like no not like that not like that at all. That's not the mentality. You get them proper feelings like, yes, I love playing golf. Get away from that. Create, trying to create anxiety. Like, it's not at all. It's those good feelings of being a little bit uncomfortable, but in a good way. That's what I spoke about last week's video as well. Just embracing those uncomfortable, good feelings because you kind of want to play well. And that's, I've said it before, how good it is doing the videos. It helps me out so much. And that makes me happy because I've just finished with a birdie there. So I haven't given myself any pastry at all to try and, you know, kind of reward myself there. But just the, the reward of making birdies good enough. And now I can actually go out on the golf course and play golf. Actually see a proper ball fight. I'm very excited about that. Let me know in the comments how you played on your first game back out. I'd like to know. Because, I mean, people, a lot of people haven't played golf for... When did we last play golf? Before Christmas in the UK. It's a long time to not play. It's like not hit a ball for a lot of people. So let me know how it goes. I'll let you know how I get on when I first get out and play as well. But that's my first step. Third and last. If you could like the video, if you liked it, and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. I'm just going to volley it anyway, I'm just going to do like a volley just for time's sake. And then look at that. Thank you.